I'm the Chief Operations Officer for uh, Eastern Australian Agriculture. Cropping is our forte, whether it be cotton, wheat, sorghum, oats, chickpeas, that's, that's mainly what we do. We've been looking at exclusion fencing for probably about three or four years now. All this farm is set up on furrow irrigation. Pigs obviously used to love going in. There's yeah, plentiful water there, it's mud really all the time around. It's great for them to go in and put a wallow straight in the middle of your, your cotton field. Um, we used to have a lot of dramas with where you're trying to run siphons down. The pigs would go in and, and actually root the rows across. So they'd root all the dirt out of the top of the bed down into the furrow and you'd be running siphons and then it would pool there. It would actually kill the cotton off. And once the cotton actually starts to get the, the fluffy bowl on it, pigs were actually going through and they would actually knock the plant over and then make a bed out of it. And then pigs are also very attracted to the soft juicy bowl. So when the bowl is maturing, it's got soft seeds in there and a soft lint and the pigs would come along and just chew those. So if you to go and start losing 20 hectares, 30 hectares, 40 hectares, which would be about the number over a, a three or 4,000 hectare crop, it is actually quite a, quite a lot of dollars. So once again, the fence would probably pay for itself in one year there of having that, um, that pig damage in, in cotton. We wanted something that we knew we could put up and we wouldn't have to go and touch. It'll be there in 20, 30, 40 years time. Um, the fence around Kaiori here has been here and completed since about May and so far we haven't found any entry points where they've actually been getting back in.